A little bit too much bias here, don't you think? Well, I guess we go in anyway. Tower of Bias 4. You ready for this? Well, hope Mario is, and inside the tower this time. Already. Middle of a story? Something? Mario's room. And I have to jump to read the signs. Ragant's room. Hey, what? Imagine my confusion and utter horror when I wake up like this. This is just depressing. That actually reminds me. I did see something in my room. It was a blue toad, yes. When I tried to attack, he just teleported away. Hey, if you can track this guy down and defeat him for me, maybe I'll return to my true beauty. If this guy can teleport, then he'll probably zap himself away when you find him. Don't worry, though, since he'll run out of mana. Eventually. If I am free to my curse, I will give you a handsome reward. Please free me from the glitchiness. I can't be so sure about the ma- Oh, ho ho ho. No wonder you want to be freed from the ugliness and creepiness. I'm not so sure about the mana because you know how Mario has infinite fireballs in Tendo's room? The guy probably has infinite mana. Nintendo, I borrow a little something from you, maybe pay you back later. The Knuckles 96 room. LOL. Yeah, LOL is probably right. I'm probably not going to pay Nintendo back. Ah, nice to see you're awake. Lord Ignoritus wishes to see you. To reach him, just continue heading left. I head right first. The training rooms are there, and also the assault room. You gotta fix some of that lighting, or at least balance it out if you just want some light. Training room one, tier one. I'll move one light over to the other one, other spot. Hmm. After destroying the SMBX carnival and attempting to summon Mouser into this world, I was captured by Ignoritus and forced to become a member of the Bias Corp. To be honest, this place isn't too bad actually, apart from the fact that I clash. You're a character, I don't... Lord Ignoritus' throne room. Ignoritus only allows himself and his daughter two buddies to party here. Everyone else is forced to go to the secret disco. I mean, not have any fun. Check our dem skills. Lord Ignoritus is way cool. Hey, do you mind? I'm busy impressing these folks with my skills. Oh, Mario, it's you. Yeah, my bad. I did call for you, actually. Anyway, if you're not already aware, this tower is currently flying to a place known as SMBX Revive. It's a vile place that is run by two idiotic people known as Pixie and Cloud. They are our enemies. My suggestion is to train yourself until we get there. If you head back outside and then head right, you reach an outdoor area which houses the training rooms. Inside each door should be a variety of environments to explore. Train yourself and collect the stars within. Those will help you in the future. Once you're satisfied with your training, head to the bottom of the outdoor room with the help of the elevator and enter the assault room. In that room, myself and other members of Bias Corp will assault SMBX Revive from that room once we arrive. Best of luck, Mario. Us normal Bias Corp members aren't allowed to party here, but we can watch Ignoritus go wild. This place is kigtastic. Why am I Mr. Saturn? Huh. Did you lose a bet? I would be playing Dota 2 right now, but i kind of been forced to watch Ignoritus dance. So lame. Yeah. He doesn't have enough color for a rainbow setting like this now, does he? Well, before I head to the right, the lower right, I want to get to the top and see what we might have. Quill's room. There's the new guy downstairs. He has two tails, but the worst thing about him is that he clashes. That's like the ultimate sin you can commit in the SMBX community. Again, he's a character. He can be whatever color he wants. He can move. Valtteri's room. I'm out and about. Valtteri. P.S. Why the hell are you in my room? If you read your own message and forget your own name, be embarrassed about that. 
<laughs> that one. As I told, Rob Toto Mi Dinero. Again, if you could put the accents in Super Mario Brothers X. It's not even Super Mario World, so in theory, I couldn't see a problem with that. I would not see any. Get to the right. Blue Toad Secret Hideout, sponsored by the Volteri Industries. Can I do anything here? Nope, it doesn't seem so. Well, after hearing about two things I already found out about before that, I want to try and see if I can grab that star, but based on this jumping, I don't think that I can. Hmm. Wait a minute. I'll check for a little something. No, there doesn't seem to be any sort of secret here right now. So, let's check this room. Nice. No, I wouldn't think so. <laughs> Probably not those two rooms either. So, now we go into the training. But first, there's a... Oh! Training room 2, tier 2. You need stars to continue on? Well... Maybe it won't be a problem. Tournament entry by Cool Cat. Last place, 2.33. Tournament entry has the creepiest enemies ever. <laughs> Are you so sure about that? Um, maybe you're right, but probably not the type of creepy that would make it a, make it a high quality level. I see where you're getting at, though. Can I get down there? See, the piranha plant is creepy, but uh, at least it fits with a Super Mario world and Super Mario anything environment. <laughs> Good old familiar enemy. Now, talk to you, Toad. Uh-oh, looks like the Alex 99 is over there. Better be careful. <clears throat> the Alex 99's house. Now what? Uh, the Millennium 1250 Elevator. Alright, uh, well, let's check up here. See what can happen. BAN! Uh, <laughs> okay. Sure. Yes, this is our, probably our obligatory level that is meant to be weird. So, let's kick. With all the generating enemies, we can get plenty of 1-ups from this, but that's not going to help us be able to even attack Ben up there. Hmm. Still, I can get all the mushrooms I need if I have to try it over and over. Still can't get up there, though. Yeah. That's not going to be possible for me to do. At least not without a shoe or a Yoshi or anything that I'd have to swipe from another level. The Flippy Ghost Hut now by Vinyl Scratch. We have two stars here now. The... Hmm. To get through the ghost house, you must collect all the dragon coins. Oh boy. Well, first impressions... This looks like a good level, so wonder how it ended up so low. And we add to that the upside down environment and the music is playing backwards. If the music could play upside down though, <laughs> that, would, that would be interesting. Upside down in terms of uh, basically all the notes. What would it be? What, yeah, I wonder what the Super Mario Brothers theme would sound like, quote-unquote, upside down. It'd probably be quite the nightmare. Hmm. So it would still be forward, just not right side up. Now what? Oh, a door with a lock on it. Or a pow door with a lock on it. Well, we got another P-switch. Good thing. 
Let's just see if we can run this and get a little reward. Jumping was probably a stupid idea. Whatever. Ooh. That could help me out. Whoa. Oh, ghost. Quit charging after me. You're not Fanto, you know. Or did Fanto hire you? Well, thanks to the first level, the first entry. Ten minutes in, and I am already maxed out. All the coins and all the lives. Oh, yeah. What's here? And miss a Yoshi coin. Yeah. But now if I... Oh, great. Let's try this... Uh... Uh, well, Fanto goes still there. Let's run through this. Now we can get a right side up Yoshi coin. We can fly back up to the ceiling now. Probably, again, Super Mario Brothers X, so cannot go above the ceiling or above that wall. Yeah, jumping is not working. So all I can think of right now is back through the pipe, or through that one other pipe that I found. Hmm. Oh, ow. That's... The creepy music! Add to that, Big Boo has no eyes. Hmm. Flippy, scary. Stop. I'll take this. Maybe for a little security. Some people have a stuffed animal. Mario becomes maybe a stuffed animal. Nope. And you can't even take the P-switch. Through that pipe anyway, so... Have to use it here. Anywhere in this part. Alright, the Yoshi coin. Hmm. Now, what the... And you can't even pick up the upside-down Yoshi coins. I'm not quite sure what to do right now. Where to go? I'm currently stumped. Maybe it had something to do with near the beginning? Yeah, that first room? It might have been something? I can fly this, though. I've got enough room. There just has to be something. If I press the P-switch, maybe right here, and go through this door, and uh, just back here. Alright. Now, let me try and take all the money, because, well, something could happen in the end. Something. Just that one block appears down below. Well, all I can think of now is flying. Hmm. You have that Yoshi coin right over there. Well, take all those coins too. It's the right side up variant of that one. Or maybe not, but thinking of pressing the P switch to pick up all those coins running really quickly before to the left. Maybe not. Maybe it's something else. Hmm. It's quite confusing. And if I go up this pipe, alright, back here. Now, get that Yoshi coin. That's not gonna work. But flight is going to work. Very well. Ooh, now I really don't know. So all I can think of... Try that one pipe. There ought to be something. But first... I want to fly, so... I don't want phantos in the way. Well, you can spin jump off of them. And get rid of them. Are you gonna come down here? So I can spin jump off of you and rid you. Can you finally conveniently go under Mario's feet so that it'll happen? Hmm. Smarter than you look. Uh, well, 
Let's try running again, since there's only one. Maybe I don't have to worry about it as much. Hmm. He's not even there anymore. Now what? Well, I can finally pick up a star. But if I press this P-switch, what will appear? Alright, plenty of coins. Hmm. So now... Hmm, I guess just take the star. I finally got one, at least. The other one's probably impossible. Well, move to the next level next time.